Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'll be cooking some rice and gongo peas along with some curry goat and fried chicken. So stay tuned and watch the process. Down here I've got my curry goat. I'm going to get it seasoned up now. Chicken already seasoned up guys. That's my chicken over here. Yeah. So I'm going to get a goat seasoned up now. So stay tuned. I'm just going to get some curry over it like so. Yeah man. That's about four teaspoons. As you notice, I don't use measurement. I just know exactly the amount. Yeah. I'm gonna add some jerk seasoning now. That's you know, my favorite jerk seasoning. So sprinkle it over it like so. And it's a man purpose as well. And that is it. Now I'm gonna get my blend. Add some blend, blend up seasoning over it like so. Yeah man, get in everything. And then I give it a good stir. I wish you guys could smell the aroma coming from the natural herbs. Yeah man. Right, so that is it guys. Just stay tuned until I'm getting it in the pot. I show that to you as well. Yeah guys, I'm gonna get the meat in the pot now. Get the juice in as well. Right, so I'm gonna leave, leave this now. Let the fire do the work, you know what I mean? Fire. In the pot. Later on I'm gonna pressure I'm gonna pressure cook the goat yeah so stay tuned and watch your process so okay guys I'm gonna check on curry goat yeah, it's coming out nicely yeah guys the blend up season which I put on the curry goat earlier is consist of ginger garlic thyme and scotch bonnet yeah so now I'm going to add some chopped onion, spring onion and some bell pepper to it. Just going to add that in. Yeah. And I need some, I need some pimento berries as well. Yeah. Like so. Yeah, they all come out. So that is it guys. Right. And I'm going to get into now I'm going to add some Hot water. To keep the cooking process going. So I'm gonna get a pressure pressure cooking on this. Alright, so that is that. When it comes to chicken and fry the chicken guys, uh, stay tuned. So I'm come I'm gonna get that. Yeah guys, we're gonna proceed with frying the chicken now. So I'm gonna add a little all purpose. In my flour like so. And that is it. And give it a good stir. So yeah guys, stay tuned. Soon come. Yeah guys, I'm gonna check and color what I see what's going on. Alright, so guys, I'm gonna have one lot of green pepper in there. And I've got some spring onion. I'm gonna add it as well. Green pepper is not for heat, guys. It's not for heat. It's just for flavor. Yeah. Already. It's already 
spicy, so I don't want no more spice. I just want to enhance the flavor, really, with the green pepper. You know what I mean? So now I'm going to add a little, a little all purpose. I don't want it salty. Just want a little. Just a little. Just to enhance the flavor, guys. But oh, yummy! Yeah, man, there's loads of flavor in here, lad, guys. Loads of flavor. A little butter, guys. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave this to simmer down for a bit, guys. waiting for the water to come to a boil before I add the rice in. As you can see guys, I've finished fried my chicken. So I'll show that to you in a bit. So just stay tuned, soon come. Alright. Yeah guys, I'm gonna add my coconut milk in. The piece is already cooked. So yeah, I'm just gonna add the coconut milk in. <coughs> Along with, I've got some thyme and some spring onion just get everything in there I've got this bad boy green pepper so I'm gonna drop that in there as well and sprinkle a little for all purpose like so add a little butter Guys, when you're cooking, make sure you taste your taste your thing and make sure it tastes. It tastes good, yeah. I mean, make sure you season it to taste. Yeah, I mean, otherwise you're not gonna get no flavor. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be like bland. Yeah, you don't you don't want you don't want that. When you cook your food, your food must have flavor. It must taste. It must it must be palatable. Yeah, I mean. So stay tuned until I'm getting the rice. In the pot, guys, I show that to you as well. So I'm All right, guys, I'm gonna get the rice in the pot now. All right. All right. So I'm gonna cover this. I need it to cook. Yeah, man, it's coming on nicely, guys. Yay. This is finger licking good guys. So this is curry goat. Oh. Stay tuned guys. So you guys, as I promised, this is my fried chicken finished product. I'm gonna show that to you. Now this is my fried fried chicken. Yeah man, yeah, man. this is my Savvy's fried chicken. Yeah man. Comment, share, and subscribe. That is it, guys. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm on around here in a Mickey channel. So stay tuned, guys. Soon come. Still cooking. Here, guys, I'm going to check on my rice. So this is my rice and gungo peas. Yeah. As you can see, this is not the dry gungo peas. This is the green one, guys. See? It's a green peas, yeah. Or some people call it beans, but we call it peas. Gungo peas, so rice and gungo peas. Come yeah, on. So keep it locked at Savage at Kitchen, guys. Come yeah, on. That's the new name, Savage at Kitchen. Yeah. We're around here in a Mickey chimney. So, you guys, stay tuned and watch the process. I'm gonna give you a close up shot of what's going on in a Mickey kitchen. Check this out, guys. And remember, it's Sadie's at Kitchen. And I'm giving you a close up of my rice and gumbo peas. And that's it. This is it. Yeah, it's not dry. It's not dry gumbo peas. It's green gumbo peas, guys. 
So that's it, that is it. And this is my curry goat over here. Yeah, that's finished. And over here we got some chicken over here. So that is it guys and remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and keep it like at service at kitchen guys. And guys if you need something like some catering, yeah man, just give me a shout. Yeah. So that, that is it guys. Catch you in another video. We are out. You yeah, guys I'm gonna consume some food. Piece of the curry goat, guys. Wow. Oh, guys, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please share the video with your family, members, and friends, and give the video a thumbs up. Yeah, around here in my kitchen there.